Uh, welcome to this new video where I want to show you the brand new SafeOS uh, 4.2 that has been released as early access version. So I have the early access version here on my Xperia 10 Plus device and also on my Xperia 10 Mark II device. And I want to show you what is new in this version. So let's get started. So this is uh, the brand new version of Selfish OS uh, 4.2019 called name Verla and this is what is new in this new version and I'm showing you some of the things that you can see clearly obviously. So we still have the option to drag from down here our app grid but what it's cool is Usually before you had to like open it up completely to get to your app. But if you have your app like somewhere in here in the top row, what you can do now is just drag it until you find your uh, app that you want to use and you can let go. As you can see here, the app grid is not opening up completely, but only to this point. And I can just uh, go in here and open up the app that I want. So this is a new feature and when we come to the browser here, what we will see are a lot of improvements recording according to the browser engine here. So the web engine Gecko has been updated as well, but not to a newer version, but uh, some security fixes and of course some fixes for new modern website have been done here as well. The UI of the browser has been overhauled. So the context menu and the toolbar are new. So that you know the um, toolbar here and if you click on this we get a new context menu that we didn't have before where everything is listed that you want to do usually like create a new tab create a new private tab search on the page if you want to search for something add the page to the app grid save the page as pdf show the desktop version and you can go directly to your bookmarks history downloads and settings uh, so this is a new menu that appears here you still have the option to reload to bookmark to share and uh, then we come to another new feature. If I click on share here, you will see that instead of opening up a sharing page, we now have a global system-wide sharing information panel that will uh, yeah, appear in this little dialog here where we can choose the various different options to share this link now. This is also available also in all other applications. So all the other applications that are using the sharing function will have this global dialogue, system dialogue popping up instead of a new page on the application, on top of the application that is currently running. So this is pretty cool and makes the system more, incon more consistent uh, and yeah, solves inconsistency issues that we had before. So this is cool. The next thing in the browser, we have a new tab layout. So if I click on the tabs here, you can see that the tabs have been redesigned. So we have now the option to see how many tabs are open. We can directly go to private tabs if you want to. And we have also a new tab overview with uh, yeah, a clearer bar at the top that tells you which website is open. We have a back button here so you know that you can go back for those people who don't know that they can go back. And we have a plus button to open up a new tab and then it opens up here the uh, option to type in a new URL or directly go to a website according to the bookmarks. And the cool thing is here we have also the history integrated so we can take a look at the history and we can also search in the history which is pretty pretty cool. So what I want to do is I go into onto this website wallhaven.cc by the way very great website if you want to download some uh, cool new wallpapers and yeah let's just download a cool new wallpaper just for example this would be cool for an ambience so i click on this and yeah i'm not sure if it's good or not but i just download it anyway press and hold longer save image we will get a dialog here to save the image and what i can do now is just press here and instead of bringing me to the transfers, it's directly opening up the image in the file view, which is pretty cool. So you can now directly open up uh, stuff that you downloaded without going to your transfers, which is also pretty, pretty cool. So 
this is a very cool thing then the next cool thing in the browser app still is the settings itself so if we go up to our settings what we have here right now we know already we have the option to set up home page and our search engine and privacy features like do not track option uh, but we have a new uh, option for passwords so we can check our passwords for various different websites as you can see here and if i go on for example uh, connect freedom i don't know what this is and edit here i have the option to view my password that is saved within here so what we have here is confirm with security code unlock to access browser's password so i can either use my fingerprint or enter the pin here to unveil this password which is i think also a pretty good thing we see it the first time here in the browser but i can imagine that we can see it maybe in the future in other applications as well so this is a very cool feature and also very handy to search your passwords and uh, to unveil them here which is also cool a next new feature is the option to change your safe destination so downloads are saved to the downloads directory but if you don't want it you can select another folder or you can set it to always ask where it will then ask where to download files and folders to which is also a pretty good option the other options are all known and already done from the last version or already added in the last version so this is nothing new we have here those options in the browser this is i think a very good and solid update for the browser i would have wished also for a renewal of the web engine itself but i think the optimizations so far what i saw are working fine for the browser it's a bit of slow sometimes still loading some websites let's load for example the heiser website here and what you'll see is it takes a while it's not as snappy as it could be i have the feeling anyway this is working fine as you can see here and i can browse around so yeah so far i'm happy with the browser when it comes to other changes in other applications we have for example the calendar application that got some new features and one of the new feature is a very cool one it's indicating now with color coding that you have appointments from various different calen calendars so as you can see here i can see directly here from the color that this is a birthday and i can see here this is a normal appointment just from the color on this day i can see okay there's an appointment and this might be a normal appointment this might be a birthday appointment and i can click on them and uh, to get more there are more fixes uh, towards the color there, just like for example iCal support has been improved uh, when it comes to importing stuff so this is pretty awesome as well then for the next feature i need to have some music running and i need to have bluetooth headphones or some other wired headphones because now we have the option with uh, safeshares 4.2 finally to have media controls for bluetooth devices and for in-ear headphones so i think if i'm not mistaken bluetooth is connected now and i can play it back and what i can do now is press one of those buttons here and this should stop the it's not working right it's stopping for a second and then playing again but it should work with your bluetooth headsets and with um, wired headphones that when you press here on your button it will stop the playback and uh, the media controls should work also uh, louder and uh, uh, making it louder and uh, not so loud this is not working right now for me might be early access version where it has some issues it's stopping for a second and then it starts playing again but this hopefully will come in savages 4.2 finally that you have the possibility for media controls via your bluetooth headphones which is i think also a good idea to do so the next thing that we have is the uh, yeah pretty cool option that you now have the possibility under notifications to simply dismiss uh, system update notifications so if you don't want to update or you don't want to have the notification sometimes after updating you still have the notification mangling around you can now remove it which is i think also pretty cool when we take a look at the people's app the contact app 
can see it's asking for all the permissions. We have also updated permissions here, more permissions, and we have also a better handling for permissions. If you have a contact under people that has a birthday or something, you can press on it and it will directly take you to the calendar. And also a memory leak in the people's app in the contact application has been fixed as well, which is also awesome. Then we have uh, Bluetooth voice call improvements. So if you have your Bluetooth headsets and want to do voice calls, they should run better than ever. And for the next one, I have to bring my Xperia 10 Mark II's uh, Safish S version here uh, because we have more fixes here and there. First of all, we have text prediction support in the Yola store. So predictive text input is now available. You can install it if you have the commercial version, the bought version of Safish S for this device. So this works then without any issues. As you can see, it's downloading and installing this. What we have here as well as for other devices, but here on this device, we can only use one camera. So it doesn't make sense to show you this. Under the camera app, we have a new uh, layout for the camera app. As you can see here, we, ha we have now support for switching through the lenses. We have three lenses on the back of the Xperia 10 Mark II. And this is something that I worked on with advanced camera to support early on. Now Savage S has it in its native camera application. You can switch to the one times uh, zoom. You can also go to the ultra wide angle if you want to. So this is working fine. Now you can do this now in the camera app. What they changed is uh, some settings are missing. So if you click in here, the top menu only has the grids and a timer. The ISO settings that you had before, and I think there were some other settings are gone now. So you only have those settings in here. I think there was some flash settings that also vanished from here for some reason. Quick update on this one. I was a bit of like a noob, I think, because what I did is going to the ultra wide angle and in the ultra wide angle there you don't have any flash options because the flash would distract the ultra wide angle because the ultra wide angle is so wide that yeah, it would capture the flash unit itself. So of course on the main sensor you have the possibility to set your flash mode to automatic or to uh, non. When it comes to the zoom one, I don't think it has, does it have flash? It also has flash. So the only one that doesn't have flash is the ultra wide angle. So if you go to the ultra wide angle and uh, click here, you can see the flash option is gone. So it's not a mistake by Yola uh, putting away the flash option. It's just simply not available for the ultra wide angle. Otherwise, what we have is still the option to choose the white balance. So we can choose sunny, cloudy, tungsten uh, fluorescent uh, this is basically what we can change here so it is getting less settings here and there but they're working on the background in the background on the api and connecting all the bits and pieces so for example what should work a lot better now is uh, the open camera app if i would have installed it here so camera apps from android should work a lot better now uh, together with this and uh, talking about Android, we have also a new Android version here. It is Android version 10 that is now supported. And uh, uh, if I can find the Android launcher, app launcher here on the Xperia 10 Plus device, I can show you the settings and I can show you the Android version that is in here about phone. And you can see that uh, when we take a look at where is the software Android version 10? We can see we have the security patch level from May 2021, which has been added, which is also pretty cool. It's not the newest, but I think it's still okay. We have, uh, yeah, September now. So um, this has been added. The Android support has been overhauled and tweaked and tuned so to be better than ever before, which is also pretty cool and handy. It's faster. It is more reliable in opening applications like here, NewPipe, for example, works like a, without any issues. And you have also the, the uh, options here to open things up. And I can say, okay, I will all want to open up with the browser application to download. And I can see here, I'm downloading the new version of NewPipe here in the background. And the file has been downloaded. I can tap on it and it will be installed. 
and hopefully I will get a notification. Yes, I successfully installed. So now this is how easy I can update uh, applications and I can go now back here, out of here and can go back in the new pipe application and I have now the new version of new pipe installed. So this is how easy it is to handle now uh, such things. And yeah, this is the comprehensive summary of the changes of SafeShares 4.2. So they worked a lot of under the hood here as well to improve the system experience, to improve the Android support. And as you might have heard, Yola has also now after more than 10 years gain um, a milestone, a profitable milestone, I think for the first time in years that they are profitable and uh, they earned a win last year. They have a new round and I think it is going into the right direction. So thumbs up for Yola and thank you for this nice uh, version update. I think it's not a revolutionary version update. This is why it's only version 4.2, but it is fixing a bit of quirks here and there. It is updating the browser again to make it a bit more easy to use. One thing that I really like to do, maybe it's my headphones here, the earphone 3 that I have that have those issues, is the Bluetooth uh, support. So if you pause and if you want to start again, it is somehow a bit still broken. So I hope maybe they can find a fix for this. I didn't try it out with, head, with uh, wired headphones, but probably this will work out as well. And uh, yeah, maybe I will try it with wired headphones and show you this right now. Uh, wired headphones, this uh, Sony MH750, I think it is written here even. MH750, maybe you can see it there. It's very small, even written here only. MH750, very good headphones. I can only recommend you to use them if you find them somewhere. It's like very, very cheap, but uh, from the sound quality, it's like uh, almost unbeatable. So let's see if I can make this music app work. And uh, let's hit the play button. Yes, it's playing as you can see here. Uh, the button, can you see it? There. there, you can see it. So if I hit the play button again, short pause and it's pausing. So this is working at least so it's working for wired headphones. Uh, wireless has a bit of an issue and I hope they can fix that. So this is everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the new version of Selfish OS 4.2.0.19 uh, Vela. And uh, yeah, this is everything for this video. If you have some questions, comments, you can write it down in the comment section. Otherwise, if you want to support independent product testing and independent uh, YouTubers, um, do it so by subscribing. With more subscribers, I gain a little bit more influence in the industry. You can ask people to give me review devices, for example. And uh, yeah, this would help me tremendously. So uh, like, share and subscribe. And this is everything for this video. Until the next time. Bye.